So, um, hey everybody. Um, this is mine and Courtney's team, by the way, so just so that you know. Um, I'm Kristen Kirkendall, and I'm hosting a Zoom with Nayara. Is that how you say it? Nayara? Yep. Nayara. Okay. I'm always I'm afraid I'm going to say it wrong. But, no, um, it's okay. <laughs> but can you just start with, like, introducing yourself um, and, like, telling a little bit of your story and how you got started and how long you've been with It Works and all that fun stuff? Yeah, of course. So I'm Nayara. Um, I'm from Connecticut, and I've been with It Works for a little over 18 months now. Um, how I got started is actually pretty funny is because my best friend joined Cassie. She's now my upline. Um, and she joined and she basically, I mean, we do everything together. So she joined and she was like, okay, like you need to do this with me. Um, I hadn't watched anyone. I had no idea about it works at the time. And she was just like, you need to do this with me. Like, I know you're broke. Like there's this amazing thousand dollar Ruby bonus. Cause at the time the Ruby wasn't Ruby bonus was a thousand dollars. So she was like, like how much of a difference could that do for you? And I was like, wow, like you're so right. Like, let, let me get started. Even though I didn't have the 99, I took the last 99 I had and just got started with her. And um, I had tunnel vision from the beginning just because I knew like how much that could benefit me and my family. And my first 30 days I promoted to Ruby. And after I promoted to Ruby, I feel like I got like, like I got the vision of the company and like I was on board a hundred percent just because I saw how easy it was. If you put the work and effort into it, like how much it will reward you back. So um, after that, I jumped right in like 150% and two months later I promoted to diamond and ever since I've been all in and now 18 months later I'm a triple diamond with it works that's so awesome it's kind of like because I feel like you guys joined in April too didn't you yeah we joined like at the how, end of April it was like around the same time that me and Courtney did it's funny how like you just join with somebody and you just and you just you just go you just go um, and Jade is like always talking about you, like how you're doing so well. So I was like, I have to get her on a zoom. Um, yeah, yeah. but what are some of your best tips? Like things that you do all the time, um, for signing distributors? Well, well, the biggest thing is, like, is like, I think I'm, I think I'm, no, not, not to me, but maybe. Okay. Maybe okay. it's just, maybe it's just, um, so the biggest, so the biggest thing I like post, 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 um, I talk about, I talk about, um, being in college, being in college, being in college, being in college, and I talk about, about how I was living, how I was living, where it works, how it works, how it was a college student, how it was hard, hard, work jobs, and still, still work, like going to school, going to school. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, anyway, it's not on my end, that's weird. It is on my it is end. On my end. <laughs> I can't understand. <laughs> I wonder why. Am I echoing too? No. Wait, no? I think it stopped. Okay, did it stop? Okay, we're good. All right, did it stop everyone? Can you guys hear me now? Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, Sorry. So where were we again? Oh, po life posting. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I do every day. And I feel like that helps so much. Um, talking about me before it works, um, how I was struggling, how I was working two jobs, going to school, having to come home from work, studying, being so tired from being at work and, you know, having to do all my schoolwork and then going to school the next day and doing it all over again. Um, not being able to afford some things that my friends were able to afford, just like the littlest things. Just, I remember um, Cass was working so many jobs when she, um, before she joined at work. So she had a little more money than I did. You know, she would always ask me to go out to dinner, get my nails done. And like, I wouldn't be able to do those extra things. So that's the stuff I talk about on my life post, just because I know that people my age could 110% relate with that so I get messages all the time from people saying like like you your posts sound like my life like right now like I'm struggling like I live paycheck to paycheck I work so many jobs and I still can't keep up with all my bills so that's what I do consistently um, on a daily basis on social media and then I also message for distributors too because I mean, most of my enrollments come from me reaching out to people first. So I message every single day for distributors, and obviously I'm always live posting. Okay. So basically just telling, you know, like, 
what it works is doing for you every single day. Yep. I'm talking about my before journey, Mm -hmm. like before I joined, like what it's doing for me now. And I talk about my dreams. And when I do that, people just get inspired by that and they can relate to my story. Okay. Awesome. Um, Okay, so do most of your distributors sign up right off the bat, or do you get most of your distributors after follow-up? Um, basically, all of them are from follow-ups. Um, I will talk to tons and tons of people, like, every single day, but it usually takes, like, I would say four to eight follow-ups for someone to sign up on average. And that's totally normal. I mean, I even joke around with my distributors and I say like, it's a rare breed. Like if you sign up on the spot, just because some people are skeptical, some people need time to think, some people are just scared. So that's why following up is so important just because the more you follow up and the more consistent with that, the more people you're going to sign up. Yeah, that's so true. It's like, it's really exciting whenever somebody signs up right on the spot, but yeah. it never happens. Um, okay. So since you do message people and reach out, do you do most of that? Like, do you work your business mostly on Facebook or Instagram or a little bit of both? So, um, since day one, I've done Instagram and I think about like five months ago, I started posting on Facebook and I was like, why not just do extra and get more potentials that way. Mm -hmm. But, um, I really work my business on Instagram. I just like it more, but I do post on both Instagram and Facebook. Okay. Um, okay. So what do you do to get your new distributors started? So usually like I will get them started. And once they show up on eSuite, I will um, tag them in our group page. I'll welcome them, welcome them in there. And then I'll tag them in like two certain videos we have on our group page. And then usually like I'll give it like a few minutes and then I'll ask them like when they're ready to get on a FaceTime with me. And I've been doing this for so long now and it's just been such a routine. So what I'll do is I'll get them on a FaceTime. Um, I'll walk them through eSuite really quick just so they can fill out their tax info. I'll explain just a little bit of what eSuite is about. Um, I'll take them to their website and explain like how it works, um, how you're going to be walking someone through the website and just retail and loyal customer pricing. And then what I'll explain to them is how to work their business on social media. I'll ask them if they're going to be doing Instagram or Facebook. And most of them say Instagram and I'll teach them like how I work my business that I follow consistently. I post consistently and I message. Okay. So, um, do you try to get them on a FaceTime within a certain amount of time, like first 24 or 48 hours? You just do it whenever they're available. Well, usually I'll ask them when they're available, but usually I do it within like the first like hour of them joining just oh. so um, they can feel comfortable. Cause usually, cause I remember like when I started, I wanted to like get to know the basics in the beginning. I mean, you don't need to know everything about the business to be successful, but I wanted to know the basics. So I feel like I want to be doing that with my distributors right off the bat, just so they can know exactly what to um, kind of like know what they need to be doing just so they can get started right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. And I need to get better with the FaceTiming because I tried it one time and I think I just like word vomited the entire time. Yeah. I I mean, it just takes a little bit of time. Like I like in the, like, I mean, I'm sure my first FaceTime was awful too, Mm -hmm. but after a while I kind of just got into the system and I do the same thing and talk about the same thing with every distributor I sign up now. You just kind of go over like what a loyal customer is, what a distributor is. and like- Yeah, I'll literally just say go on to eSuite. They fill out their tax info. I'll explain just a little bit about it, not something like, oh, this and this means this, you know, just super simple. Like this is their back office. This is where they're going to keep track of customers uh-huh. and distributors on their team. And um, hold on a second. My dog's crying. And then I'll, um, I'll walk them to their website and I'll say, Um, click shop, click body. And then I'll explain the retail, the loyal customer pricing and explain like what it means to become a loyal customer. And um, then I'll just take them to where they're going to be advertising their business. And usually like when I'm on FaceTime with someone, it'll usually last between 10 to 13 minutes. So it's like super short and simple. What takes longest is like them actually like typing in eSuite, typing in their website and like opening the computer. But I try not to overwhelm them with too much info, just the littlest things that they need to know right off the bat. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Um, okay. So I'm going to, my questions are kind of out of order. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out which ones I want to go to next. That's okay. Uh, 
but I know that you cold message. Um, so how many messages would you say that you send out each day on Instagram? Well, what I try to do is I do 10 every hour and I try to be super consistent with that just because I want to make sure I'm talking to as many people I can every single day, like new people. So I just stick to 10 messages every hour, every day. Well, do you just like rotate between a little customer and distributor? Or you just kind of like look at their profile? Like how do you go about deciding which message you're going to send? So yeah, I rotate. So I just, so I'll start off the day with like a loyal customer message and then I'll do a distributor next hour. And that's what I do. Okay. So you just go back and forth. Yep. Um, okay. So, um, what, what are some things you do to like keep your team motivated and like pushing towards their promotions throughout the entire month? Cause I feel like sometimes in the beginning of the month, everybody's pushing and at the end of the month, everybody's pushing. So do you do like certain things to keep them pushing through the middle of the month, whatever things kind of slow down a little bit? Well, um, Cass and I do weekly Zooms. Um, we do a team one every Tuesday, and I think that just helps so much, us just sharing tips, um, answering questions. And, I mean, I notice that you can't really motivate people per se. Um, what I just try to do is lead by example every single day. Like, if I'm telling my distributors, like, keep consistently posting, messaging, following, and enrolling, I'm making sure I'm doing that myself too, just so they can see that if I can do it, they can do it. So, and I try to just inspire them um, on Zooms, just showing them that like I complete my steps to success every single month, I'm enrolling. Even when people say it's a slow season, mm -hmm. it's not really slow, it's just if you make it slow. Yeah. So um, that's what we do. We, we think that the Zooms help so much weekly and we just post it on our team page like tonight, like we're doing this and we usually just do them every Tuesdays and kind of just go over like the basics for newbies like Ruby and the diamond um, and the bonus is going on now. So that's kind of like what we do. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, so whenever you're pushing for a promotion, what's something that you do to help everybody stay focused? And like, you know, like for me, like I check my downline activity 24-7 when I'm promoting to make sure that everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing and I'm constantly talking to my team about it. So what are some things that you do when you're trying to help them promote? Um, I love to get on FaceTime. Like that's my thing. Um, I usually like when my leaders are pushing for certain promotions, like I get them on FaceTime, we go over charts. Like I give them advice of like what's working for me, like what scripts are working for me. And, um, and I just help them with their charts and any questions that they have with anything like that. So, and yeah, I'm always checking my downline activity too and making sure everything is going good and they're doing everything they're supposed to be doing. So I always work so closely, like with kind of like my top 10 or top five leaders that are pushing for promotions and just give them the best advice that's worked out for me. Okay. Um, okay. So let's see. On your posting, do you follow like a 3 3 rule or? I know, like, when I had Cassie, she said she kind of just posts, like, three to five times a day, and then she does most of her messaging, so are you kind of the same way, or how do you do your posting? Yeah, we do things, like, very, very similar, and um, what I like to do is, like, I'll wake up, I'll post a face, like, a selfie, or, like, a selfie of me and Cassie, or, like, with my boyfriend or my family, and then I'll do, like, either a product post in between, or something, like, not face, so I switch between face and no face, just because... I don't want people to like whoever's going to follow me to go onto my Instagram and see my first nine pictures and not see my feet there. Just because like if I went to go follow someone, I would want to see like who they are, or what they're about, like right there in their first nine pictures. So I usually swap between my posts, face, no face, face, no face. And I usually do like life posts um, and I do product posts in between. So yeah, it's kind of like a three, three rule. Um, I don't do before and after so much like I did in the beginning, but I will post them and maybe like 24 to 48 hours later, I'll totally take them down. Okay. Um, okay. She just stole my phone, but I think that my other question was, um, can I see this for just a second? Oh yeah. Whenever um, you first started, like what are some things that you did to make sure that you got your first four little customers in your first 30 days? So actually, I got my first four my first day. So I came home. I went to Cassie's to sign up, and I came home, and I was like to my mom, my dad, my sister, my boyfriend, I was like, you guys just need to buy from me. And I was so excited about the products, 
And I knew my mom was so interested in growing out her hair, so I showed her the hair, skin, and nails, like, and we talked about it, and I showed her before and afters that I had seen. And that's how I went about getting my first four, my warm market. So I always tell my distributors to do the same, is talk to their friends and family. And then I started um, messaging on social media, like, right away and posting right away to get my other loyal customers, too. So as soon as you sign a distributor, do you encourage them to start that messaging? Yes. So I tell them, obviously, to talk to as many friends and family members that they could. And then I have them cold message on Instagram because it's worked for me since I started doing it. So I know it'll be working for them well since day one and it does like even though they just got started like if they're consistently posting and messaging people are going to be watching and they're going to be interested and it's been working out good for them with the cold so I have all my new distributors do that I feel like too whenever you message people even if they don't respond they start liking all of my pictures and watching you closer yeah exactly like a lot of actually a distributor i was on a zoom last night and she even said that she said that once she got started like before she even posted she started messaging and then like a few days later she was posting so consistently a distrib- uh, potential message her and she was saying like i'm watching your post like tell me more about like the products or the business you know so yeah they definitely yeah. start watching after like you plant that seed and then they're like paying attention to your page and it's yeah. Like I always notice, I'm like, hey, I think I messaged her the other day and she didn't even respond, but if she's looking at my stuff and it still worked. Yep, exactly. Um, okay, my last question is just like share an aha moment that you've had since you've been in the business. Um, I have so many, but I was actually thinking about this before when you um, had messaged me the questions, but one of my aha moments is definitely conference. Um, Everyone, last year was my first conference, and everyone was saying, like, you have to go. Um, It's going to forever change your business. And, I mean, not that I didn't believe it. I was like, hmm, I wonder what, like, is going to forever change my business there. Like, what's going to be happening? Mm -hmm. I watched so many videos, but actually being there and being surrounded by, like, like like-minded people, like, who do what we do and hearing everyone's story and everyone goes through struggles, you know, their lives aren't perfect. And just be able to be there and actually experience everything that everyone was saying through videos was so, so amazing. So for anyone thinking about going to conference, definitely buy your ticket just because it's so worth it. And after that, it did forever change my business. Um, After that, I I was... I promoted to diamond three months into the business and then eight months later I promoted to double and then a month later I promoted to triple. So it did like forever change my business. Yeah. And it's like the energy, like it's insane. Like you you can't even explain what it's like, but, um, I'm so happy that you got on with us. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Does anybody have any questions really quick before we get off of here about what we talked about? And Courtney, I don't know if you heard Ella, but she was saying your name. I don't even know because she can't even see you, but she was saying Courtney. She can read now, didn't you know? <laughs> yeah. She, she can, can you read? Can, do you hear Courtney? Can you say hi? Courtney! Ella, I love you. I love you. Can you tell her you love her? No. Hug. Oh, hug. Like, no, say, Ryan says hi. Go and hug. I <laughs> don't